Okay, now I'm back again. Now we got two mics. I figured it out. Let me go ahead and well, I'll mute the SM58. We'll be talking on the lapel because uh, I've got a you know shortcut to set it. Um, what I had to do is go into the uh, settings audio. I, don't, I mean that's so obvious. I, I knew this a hundred thousand times. A hundred times at least I've seen this. You know, I mean I've seen this more probably at least. I don't know what I'm, I see it all the time, um, and so you just it was just you know disabled like that right there, uh, and it looks like I didn't know if you could edit it during the video, so I didn't do it. Uh, you know I did it ahead of time, but also I wonder if you could add default, and then no matter which uh, when you're on, you're still going to get audio. So I'm going to try that and just see. So. Uh, now that may bring. We'll see. I'm I'm muted here, so uh, what I'm thinking is, even though you got a signal here, you're only going to hear the one that I should have muted. This, of course, muting that I knew was going to work. Muting the mic aux too, and oh, and then the default is still working. So whatever's the default will work now. And here's what I'm thinking. Um, let's mute. Okay, so now we still have audio, and we should be getting uh, from the SM58 if my calculations are correct. Now, if I do that, I'm still getting sound, but it should be from the lapel mics. And, yeah, that would work. <clears throat> now, there would be a way you could do it, and then you'd have to depend on this to switch mics. But that would be really busy. It's hard to, because this thing, you know, doesn't stay up. The one thing I like about OBS is everything is in this window, your video, your audio switch, and everything. So having this, you know, you every time you go somewhere, you've got to come back and find that, and that would be really hard. So uh, let's go back to the SM58. Now we're back on the SM58. So um, now let's. Now we're on the mic, uh, lapel mic, and this is straight into the computer. You know, there's no compression, noise gate, anything on it. So we'll see how it sounds and. Uh, through the phones, you know, it has its own built-in. I don't know exactly what it has, but I can see how it acts. Uh, I have to believe it has compression and noise gate built-in. That's what I think the phones have. And then uh, back to the SM58. There we go. So that's that's not bad. <clears throat> Only thing is, if I have the lapel on and I cough, it's going to peg because I have no compression or anything. See, like, if you do that, that's a pretty loud sound on the lapel. Not much different. Well, you can, see, yeah, it's going up in the red a little more. And if I was coughing, I'm sure it would just distort like crazy. And for on the default, well, that depends on which one we're defaulted. We're default to SM58. Okay. I wonder if it gets a stare, a, a echo or anything when you do them both. Let's see that. Okay. Now we're back on the SM58. <clears throat> All right. So I definitely want to leave this one alone. And if I'm using this, oops, you got to click on the little radio button. You have to set the input volume. At first, I thought it wasn't going to work because it was down here pretty low. I think it was way down here or something. Uh, I wasn't even paying much attention. And so anyway, I, I watched the uh, meters and kind of compared these little bars, you know, to each other. And uh, I'm still talking on the SMPC. That doesn't have any effect unless, you're, uh, unless your input is default. The only uh, your input is solid, which is kind of good, really. Your input is solid to whatever you set these to. So this is set to the SM58. This is and that's the line input, and then this one is set to the mic input. And I'm using that USB sound card. You might actually be able to use the mic and line. I don't know if you could use. My, I don't think you can use mic and line input at the same time. Well, maybe you could. If you can do this, and if OBS, you might be able to. But of course, if you're uh, in the computer, no, you're not going to get them both at the same time, because you have to pick one or the other. You know. Uh, see, this is microphone input, but it's not the built-in; it's the USB. This is line using line input, and that's the best. So it's coming from a mixer, you know, and an effects unit. That's the only right, good way to do it, because the mic input is not looking for a line level signal. It's looking for a very, very weak. Uh, mic signal, uh, very weak voltage is what I'm saying. 
and the voltage is much higher on the line level signal so it distorts extremely easily i mean i've done it when there was no other way i could do it but and some laptops they don't have a, a separate line of mic input it's either you know whatever you plug in there it tries to sense it i guess so uh some of them work okay some of them don't because I've, I've got three well two that i've done audio on <coughs> 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 Sorry. <clears throat> While I was coughing, I thought, okay, good test time, but I couldn't I couldn't think well enough to do anything different. So, um, let's leave those two muted there, and uh, I'll go ahead and switch to the cameras. That's camera one. It's camera two. And, uh, I mean, yeah, you're going to have the inputs. Yeah, I have my inputs in, in each scene, just like I would expect to. So um, I'm going to stop and watch this one back.